Hey there, uh, this is Mahmoud Hassan and today I want to share with you a new article about SwiftUI that how to handle random on appear call. So uh, the problem appeared when we first develop an application using uh, SwiftUI and in iOS 13, we heavily used on appear and on disappear method to uh, do some kind of API related work or something. But when iOS 14 came and we updated our application, we found some weird thing happened. Sometimes some on appear called randomly, which is uh, was out of our control. To solve this problem, we uh, we followed a different approach, and that's the thing I want to share with you. So if you have any problem uh, to use on appear and on disappear, and you want you want to use a solid solution to know that when a view is appeared or not uh, you can follow this tutorial to do that okay so here the thing we want to do so there will be four screens so the dashboard screen one screen two screen three and we will control that which screen we are at currently viewing using a new uh, environmental state that will be ui state okay so this, this is the thing we will be doing by our code so let's create a an app so i already created an app and so you do that and let's create a new state so first i want to create a new uh, directory here and i give the name states and let's create a new file the file name will be ui states or ui state ui state okay good now let's import the combined framework import combine and let's uh as we said that we will we will have four screen right dashboard screen one screen two screen three so let's uh, define a constant using enum enum current screen string and case dash board case screen one is screen two is screen three is screen four so we defined four screens now let's define the class for the environment environmental objects so the state class name will be ui state ui state which will extend observable object and let's define a published property at published var current screen current screen and initially it will be the dashboard and you use the did set method so in the this set method i will uh, uh, call two functions so let's define those function initialize screen one function it will just print nothing user is visiting uh, current screen and another method fun d initialize screen and it will take the last screen user left screen current screen and print user left and the screen name all right and let's call this thing initialize screen and the initialize screen screen and you pass the old value so our ui state is ready to use now come to the main application file so in my case it is random on appear uh, app.swift file and here let's create an instance of that ui state let ui state ui state ui state and add that state as an environment object environment object to the content view so that any child or any view inside the content view can access this ui state now at the fourth step we have to update this content view so here before doing that what i want to do i want to create four skin as we said that there will be four skin including the dashboard skin one skin two skin three so let's create a new screen here for simplicity i am just using the same file but in real time uh, production application we actually have individual file for separate screen so let's define struct screen view one 
view and then here you just add an environment object to access the environment object var ui state ui state then also access the environment property environment that is called a presentation mode so that when you click the back button you can dismiss the view presentation presentation mode okay and now let's define the body our body some view and let's define a v stack write text screen one maybe just do padding and then uh, define another uh, view for next screen some view navigation link and navigation link and here you use this one destination and level the destination will be uh, screen view 2 which we yet not defined screen view 2 and the level will be screen 2 screen 2 okay so this is a very uh, simplistic view i what i want to do i want to just copy this thing screen <coughs> so it will be screen view 2 screen view 3 and here update so this is screen view 1 it will uh, show screen view 2 here so it will be screen uh, view 2 and when you click the next screen it will go to screen view 3 and here you show uh, you show the 3 and finally it will be 3 here and there will be uh, no third uh, fourth screen so uh, okay, so you just remove this part here from the last screen. All right, and now let's create a back button. So for the back button in screen view one, what I want to do, I want to just uh, define a function. So okay, so before adding the back button, what I want to do, I want to connect from dashboard view to the screen view one. Okay, so let's update the content view so write in at environment object environment object var ui state to access the uh, ui state and here just cut this thing and write navigation view in this demo demonstration we are using the navigation view and here write v stack and then just define a next screen which will be defined later and here the next screen var next screen some view then navigation link and use this one we do not need the active thing and here you will define a screen view one and it will be a screen one all right and here uh, we want to this navigation view style is stack based so right here navigation view style then stack navigation view style okay so it will be stack based okay finally what we missing here is that okay so if i run the application right now it is not yet ready just show you that what I have done and i just hide this canvas and i just want to yes uh, resize this editor so if i click screen one it goes to screen one and nothing here is happening okay because i think i did not link anything here anyway okay so there is a missing so screen view one after this text here will be next screen next screen here same next screen to go to the third screen so if i run this application again this is the first screen if i click screen one it goes to here screen two it goes to here now let's connect this ui state with each screen so here in the navigation link let's create a, add a simultaneous gesture so there is one problem i'm recently noticing that if you are in here simultaneous gesture and tap it automatically become gesture and it will not work so let me show you so uh, tap uh, gesture 
create an instance on indeed and write here an action for example ui state dot current screen will be dot screen one okay so if i run this application now and if i open this one the console and if i click screen one you see nothing is showing here this is not working why it should be called this initialized screen and it should be showing user is visiting so you have to be very careful here instead of using this gesture just use simultaneous gesture now if i run this application again and if i open the console and now if i click screen one you see now it is showing that user is visiting screen one and user left dashboard okay so it is very important so now let's copy this thing and paste it here and here type screen 2 from screen 1 to screen 2 and from screen 2 to screen 3 it will be screen 3 right screen 3 so now if i run this application screen 1 you see that here it is showing user is visiting screen 1 so the current screen is screen 1 and user left dashboard if i click screen 2 it is showing user is visiting screen 2 and left screen 1 similarly for screen 3 but if i go back nothing is happen so we have to manually update that thing as well okay so to do that let's uh, define a on back function so in the dashboard there is no need any on back so let's update the screen view one so here um you or maybe yes here let's define an on back function on back and here you type ui state dot uh, current screen equals dashboard from the screen one to when you are in screen one and you you can you want to go back it should be the previous the back screen is basically dashboard and then you have to type presentation mode dot uh, wrapped value to dismiss so if you want to update the presentation uh, so if you want to dismiss the screen and then you have to do one more update here in the body v stack navigation view uh, back bar navigation uh, bar back button hidden it will be true so we will uh, hide the default back button and then what we want to do navigation navigation bar item items and the leading will be a back button so we will define the back button so let's define the back button here after this function var back button or nav navigation back button some view and let's define a button here okay button action and the action will be just you can just uh, pass the reference of on back and you update the level to an image system uh, system name and the image will be arrow backward arrow backward from sf symbol so now copy these two thing or maybe just first try this thing if it works or not then you update the other views so let's run the application and if i click screen one you see now it is showing an arrow and if i click this back you see now it is showing user is visiting dashboard user left screen one so similarly just copy this portion of code here and also here but you have to update this thing so from screen uh, okay so this is the screen screen view one so screen view one on back will be dashboard screen view two on back will be what screen view one right and from screen view three the back button will be screen view two right and then update the menu okay so just copy this two line from screen view one and come to here and then also paste it in here all right let's rerun this application and now you are seeing screen one so if i click screen one so user is visiting screen one user left dashboard screen two works screen three works and now if i click i remove this uh, this clear this console and if i click back user is visiting screen two user left screen three 
and if I just do some back and forth screen 3 user is visiting screen 3 user is left screen 2 so uh, again back button user is visiting screen 1 user left screen 2 back button user is visiting dashboard and user left screen 1 so it is very helpful sometimes the on appear and on disappear method randomly call so it will no longer work and if you use any API to uh, retrieve data from your server or any kind of thing you can just update this function here and based on some logic like if user is suppose uh, in the fourth screen or in the screen 3 uh, you may need to uh, actually we do not need screen 4 okay so suppose in the fourth screen screen 3 you want to show some data from server so you may want to retrieve those data in screen 2 or when the screen 3 appears so in that case you just update this initialize screen and you can just call the api for example if current screen equal to screen 3 uh, screen 3 and you just call a function uh, suppose uh, load data from server for screen 3 and just define that function somewhere here from here okay something like that you can do something like that to solve the problem so i hope you understood if you don't want to use on appear and on disappear method how to tackle that feature manually using creating an ui state and i don't know if this on appear and on disappear issue will be ever fixed or not because in ios 13 it was fine in ios 14 in some cases it called more than one time and sometimes do not call it is uh, randomly occurred so i no longer trust this on appear and on disappear method but i still use in some cases but not for uh, to uh, load api or something like that okay so i hope it will help you to solve your problem as well